quick demo of the fig constraint Python tool. So here we've got a pretty simple animation just in layout form. The character walks in, grabs the other character, throws them out of the scene. And I'm going to do this without any parent constraints. And I'm just going to show off what you can achieve with this really simple Python tool. So the first thing I'm going to look at is these um, the feet of the character coming in. So this is pretty easy to figure out. Basically what we're going to do is just see these legs, they're spread out super far. I'm going to take this foot, bring it in, just make sure there's a key on all the attributes here. And so the first foot that we're going to hold in place is going to be this foot that's in front. So I have my copy paste attached to a marking menu because I find it faster than going into these buttons here. So for me, it's a leftmost button. And then I'm going to copy the position. And I'm going to try copying for about 10 frames. Right A, leftmost button, paste. And it did it really, really fast. It baked it out across these frames. And you can see the foot is stuck. There's no constraints or anything that are created. It's just finding the X form and snapping it to that X form across the selected frames. So now I have my foot snapped in place and it goes a little bit too long, but I can fix that later. Next, I want to grab this foot and I want it to be fully forward at this frame and then Let's say for 18 frames, I want it to stick. So I have to remember, copy it, drag the frames to paste it, and paste. And now we have two feet doing a little sticking. And let's say I want it on this frame as well, because I missed it. I'm just going to snap it to that frame as well. And now I'll do the same thing again for this foot. Copy, drag the frames I want, paste, and there we go. Now we've got the basis of a walk. Oops, selected the wrong control there. And you don't have to have a keyframe on it. It'll just copy the current X form. So you'll have to set that key yourself if you want it to stay in that position. Oops. Yeah, right. I want it to be in front. And then I'm going to recopy, drag over, paste. Now it's pasted. Now I'm going to grab the other foot. And where that foot starts moving, I want this foot to be forward. And copy, drag over, and paste. And then this foot, this red one here, I think I want it to be at the end pose. So I'm going to copy the end pose and pick a frame where I want it to end up there. And there, now it's at that end pose. And we have a just the basis of the feet sticking in the right position whenever I start working on the walk. I can tweak this as much as I want now. The next step would be to have the character grab this second marshmallow and toss him in the air. And I'm not going to use constraints for this. What I'm going to do is just let's select this character and let's say we want him to grab and then this motion here we want a little bit of a moving hold so I'm just gonna 
drag the key out, make out a little moving hold, and then I'll add a bit of a up motion here. So I'm just gonna move the character up, move this hand. This hand I'm just hiding behind, so it doesn't really need to do anything. Slight rotation, and there we go. Now we've got a bit of an antic before we drop down, and then we hold, and then zoom, and then I want to add an overshoot on this one. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Just drag that over. Just, just pull out a quick overshoot just for the sake of this demo. And I'd probably want some squish on there. And yung, yung. And I just want to add a little bit of motion on the hips. Zing. There we go. And I also want to add some rotation and translation on these fingers. <clears throat> so I'll just pull the fingers out, give them some rotation, and probably a little rotation on this pose just to give it something. Boing, there we go. And I could probably just push this over a frame and zoom. And also, I'm going to push the hands over, and I'm going to offset their motion just a little bit. Add some rotation. So now, if we look at it, really crappy, but you can see we've stuck the feet. We've got a, the hands doing a little bit of a jiggle animation just to make it look a little nicer. And now what I'm going to do is select the hand, which is going to be essentially what I'm sticking this character to. And then I'm going to select the character's God controller and I'm going to do copy. And now I have a copy of the offset between this hand control and this god control. And it doesn't matter what I select now. It knows what I copied. It saved that specific control. And so now I can just select across the frames that I want it to stick. So I probably want it to stick somewhere around this frame. And now I'm going to paste. And it's all pasted. So now we can go through and see that he's tossing the character. And it's just baked the keyframes down. So there's no attachment to any parent constraints or anything. And now what I can do is manually adjust I could also just grab this, push it out a little bit, and then paste, and it will adjust that pose. And then this pose, it looks kind of, kind of bad. So I'm going to push the hand high, rotate it, and paste. And now we can see what's happening. And then this last frame, I think it doesn't need to be connected anymore. I think he's thrown him at this point. So I can just manually put him in the position I want. So yun yun. And then at this point, I think he's out of the frame. And just like that, we have a pretty fast 
animation process without using any constraints and we haven't made our scene a huge mess and we can go in and edit this really easily uh, and I think that's it I guess you can also consider let's say if we have just for the sake of this demo cube let's scale that up we can also attach multiple objects at the same time so let's grab this hand let's grab the god and let's also grab the cube oh, make sure you can grab geometry and now I'm going to copy and now this cube its offset is saved and also this marshmallow is saved so now whenever I go to other frames I can just like go down here and then I'm going to paste and you'll see the cube moves with us at the same position if I go over here paste you'll see it moves to the same position it's only setting a key on the frames you paste so it will slide around but if we want it to not slide around we can drag between these frames and paste and it'll bake that positioning as you can see it's moving perfectly and so you can do that with as many objects as you want so it is you select one and it'll snap it to the world position if you select two it'll snap every other control to the first control that you selected and I believe that's it for the demo it's a pretty simple tool and it just saves you a lot of time